My name is Lori Nelson Morrissey, and I graduated the class of 1975. What does it mean to be a Ballard Bomber? Mm -hmm. We were very proud of Ballard back in the day. Uh, not only for the academics, but the sports uh, and everything that we're involved with. Um, a lot of what we did evolved around our school. So, you know, not only would we hang with them here, but uh, when we'd go to Ames, there was a special row for <laughs> when we were cruising, that that was the Ballard Row, then you had the North Polk mm -hmm. Row, and the Boone Row, and Ames had a couple of rows. Yeah. But, uh, but I think we had really good respect uh, coming from Ballard. Some pride. Yeah, mm -hmm. we did. We definitely had pride. Mm -hmm. What is it about your Ballard education that gave you a base to start your career slash future? Oh, a lot of it. Um, I think several of our classes gave us confidence, for one thing. Um, and then we had an English class where we could pick and choose what we wanted to do, and we did debate. So I learned how to argue <laughs> <laughs> and, and use facts to back up whatever statement that you were doing. So um, I, I looked at a career in law, and that would have been excellent for arguing cases in law. I ended up in law enforcement. So it still gave you the confidence and being able to prove your case in court and being able to talk to a group without it, you know, uh, intimidating you. So you, you were an officer? Yes, I was. I was a deputy sheriff for 10 years. Oh, well, thank you. So, the first. The first. <laughs> the first in our county, anyway. Well, thank you for that. Well, thank you. What takeaways from school have helped you in your career slash future? Hmm. We had some of the best teachers, and... Uh, those teachers, I think, instilled integrity in each one of the students. Um, you wanted to excel not only for yourself and your parents, but you didn't want to let your students and your other students and your, your teachers down. So I think the opportunities that they gave us and, and they allowed us to take, and the freedom. Um, we had quite a bit of freedom in the 70s uh, in kind of leading where we were going with some of our classes. and. Um, I think that, you know, just led for good choices the rest of your life. What traditions were a part of your Ballard experience? We were trying to think which ones we could actually tell you about. <laughs> that's what, that's what <laughs> she said, too. <laughs> because there was a lot of, you know, yeah. you know things on, especially uh, sports teams and things like that. But I think, I think one of the traditions that stuck with me the most is the national anthem uh, before the ball games. There was something about standing up there with everybody watching you, your parents, your coaches, you know, uh, uh, the rest of the team, and listening to the na national anthem play. It gave you tingles. Um, you know, it was partly the adrenaline, the excitement of the game, but just the pure pride that you had in the school and in your country. And uh, I think that was enforced with our Pledge of Allegiance that we said daily and, uh, and along with the sports and, and uh, just our ethics in, in general. If you could use one word to describe Ballard, what would that be? Mm. I'd say foundation. I think it gave every one of us a real sturdy foundation uh, because based on our education, um, our character, our sportsmanship and just our general conduct uh, and, and really good work ethics. Um, that led to lots of opportunities for your career. Um, there isn't anybody out there who is looking to hire that wants somebody with poor work ethics or poor sportsmanship or poor integrity. Um, those are the types of things that I think the, the workforce looks for. Those are the things that uh, government works for, looks for, um, and friendships, you know, in general. So I think it, foundation is what I would say because it, it really built a good solid foundation uh, for everything that most of us turned out to be. Well, sweet. Thank you.